So one local resident <laughs> turns 101 today, and the community is celebrating him in a fun way. Yes, our senior senior correspondent, Ashley Williams, is live in Lincoln, where folks are. <laughs> uh, this is the prep before the big celebration, right, to celebrate Franco. Hi guys, good morning. You know, I do feel like I've been that person, right? We've been celebrating a lot of big birthdays all over 100, and that's happening today. We're so excited to get a chance to meet Franklin A. Franco, and he's being honored today here in Lincoln in a very special way. As a matter of fact, I'm going to peek because he was just enjoying lunch, and so we haven't had a chance to have him come out just yet. I believe he's making his way out, but I want to bring in his daughter, um, Alice. Here. Alice, good morning to you. Hello. Hello. So this is a big deal. Your father, a three-time war veteran, being honored today. And you told me just a moment ago, you said, you know, we were just going to kind of celebrate as a family. You were not anticipating the entire town coming out to honor your father. I know. It's, it's pretty amazing. And I think he's excited because I told him there's a parade. And he said, for me? And I said, yes, yes, come out. And I said, you just need to sit there and you can wave to people. And, yeah. and you know, he is not someone who has ever bragged or boasted about any of his marvelous achievements. So it's wonderful that he's being honored. Yeah, you know, to give you guys an idea, it's obviously very quiet right now, but they're anticipating, guys, um, over 600 people in cars getting ready to come through uh, this neighborhood and drive through just to wish him a happy birthday. But on top of that, Lincoln PD is going to be doing their own parade, separate of that parade, and that's going to be with Lincoln PD as well as the fire department. Are you surprised about even that? Yes, I'm surprised by all of it and really thrilled. And by the this is his, one of his seven granddaughters oh my here. Hello, one of your seven oh, granddaughters. How are you? Doing great. What's thank your name? you, Helen. Helen, and then for you to know that today you can celebrate your grandfather in this big way. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's just amazing. You know, he's. He's lived to be 101 now, and he's just a wonderful, amazing person, and we're so happy. You know, I used the word monumental just a moment ago, but this is actually kind of rare. It is rare that you get a chance to meet a three-time war veteran. And you just said, you said, you know, he's humble. He doesn't like to brag. But if there is any one war story that he uh, does, in fact, like to discuss or talk about or he was happy about, what would you say that was? Um, well, one thing he did that was very heroic, which he doesn't brag about, but it is we had a coup. In, when we lived in Laos. And he was basically the one who went out and calmed everybody down oh, wow. and prevented it from escalating and probably saved a lot of lives doing that. And he, he doesn't brag about it, but he was commended for it, of course. And, and, and he has always had a cool head in, in any crisis and he's very resilient and he's always been a people person. So he literally went out to the airport and talked the coup participants down. And, and calmed everybody, and it was a wonderful thing that he did. Okay, and, I, and I think I heard I somebody, so let's go ahead and uh, peek over. Uh, we're going to go ahead and toss it back to you guys, but we're going to be out here for the morning as they celebrate. Again, we're talking over 600 cars uh, and family members and community leaders getting ready to drive by just to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, sir. You can't hear me, but we will uh, get some more information from you, from him, I should say. And I uh, will, you know what? Tune into CBS tonight, and we'll have more on that, guys. All right. Back on over to you. Hi. All right. That's wonderful. Beautiful. Thank Happy you. Birthday. <laughs> hey, tell me something good.